Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm just all over the place with videos, so don't you never know what kind of video I'm going to be doing the next day. It could be golf, it could be bowling, it could be electronics, it could be all kinds of stuff. So, thank you for coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But today we're going to talk about uh, battery backups or battery generators or whatever you want to call them. But uh, I recently got this Pecron, and I really like this Pecron. The Jackery Explorer 1500 is the biggest one we've got. Now, uh, I, I like it okay, but there's a couple problems with that, and there's the reason I went ahead and got another one and got the Pecron. This is great for backup battery um it's got you know the outlets to plug stuff in it's got your usb-c it's got two inputs for uh charging the jackery comes with a big old brick to to charge it i didn't get it out because you know what they are and uh you can charge it with the brick or you can charge it with solar or you can charge it with your uh, car adapter something similar to that and uh it's yeah it works good the the problems with it is you can't plug it in and leave it plugged in and use it as a ups because it doesn't operate as a ups what that means is if you plug all your stuff into the outlets here and you have this plugged into power or solar or whatever uh, it will turn itself off and whatever you've got plugged in here won't work uh, or it'll, it'll drain the battery it, it don't automatically switch back and forth and do that so where it's good for uh, backup power you yeah, absolutely it's good for backup power but I wanted something a little bit more versatile and a little bit more useful uh, also we've got this small one here this three Jackery 300. This is probably the the second one I got. First one I got was the uh, Flash Fish. It's sitting down on the floor over here. But uh, let me grab it. Let me grab it. <coughs> you're you're not in a hurry, are you? Um, let me grab this. <coughs> I know I've done videos on these before, but this is the flash fish. This is the first one we bought. And although it works good and everything, for some reason it got where it wouldn't charge uh, with the uh, with the power supply that came with it. And the only reason, the only way I can get it to charge now is through a cigarette lighter charger, which I just plug into the Jackery or to the Pecron and charge it. But it still works fine. I've had it for years. But no complaints with it other than the brick don't charge it no more. And I don't know what why that is. But getting back to these, uh, Jack, you know, Jackery is good. I'm not knocking Jackery. It just they they left some functions out, and it does not have uh, an app to use on your phone to know anything about the Jackery. So that's another thing that it does not have. So it's just not all there. I know some of the bigger ones, the 3500s and stuff like that, the Jackery has fixed the most problems. But the, the, this one, the 1500, should be better than it is. Uh, and also, they started out at $1,500. Then they came down to uh, like $1,000 or something. And they had a sale one day, and I caught it for like $600. And I, I bought it because at $600 for a 1500, that's pretty good. That's, that's a real good deal. So that's why I got that one. So uh, this one, uh, I mean, I, it does what it does. Like I said, we use it to charge the phones and tablets and things like that. And then when it runs down, I bring it in and plug it in the solar. And like right now, it's charging uh, 20 watts, but it's early in the morning. It's cloudy. The sun's not even up good yet. Uh, but so actually, you know, we charge all most of our devices by not plugging into the house. 
It's they're charged by solar and these battery backups. And getting getting on to the Petron now, uh, Hobo Tech. I watch him. I'll put a link to his channel down below if you want to. And he does real in-depth videos with all these gadgets, testing all these things and making sure they do what the company say they're doing. All that I don't do that. I, I I get a product and I use it, and if it's if it works, then that's great. And then I will, uh, you know, make a video about it or something. Sometimes if it don't work, I'll make a video about it. But that's uh, another thing I just want to say. I have bought these items. All those other videos, I won't say all of them, but 90% of them you see on there that give these outstanding reviews. And then you can't get a better product. Those people, they're getting the products for free or are getting paid from the manufacturer to do those videos. I'm neither. <laughs> I paid retail for these things and use them. And then I was just going to give you my opinion on them you know, after I get them. But this one, <laughs> after I saw uh, Hobotech's video, this one checks almost all the boxes. So you can plug this into solar or into your wall. And this one does not come with that big brick. It just comes with a, a little cable, like a computer cable. And you just plug it in here and plug it in the wall if that's what you want to do. And you can plug all your devices in here. And if the power goes out, this thing switches on to the battery backup and uses the battery. And then when the power comes back on, it switches back to running these just like you would have it in the outlet in the wall. And then it goes back to charging uh, and charges the battery back up. And you never know the power went out with whatever you've got plugged into this thing. So when I got it, it had like 60% charge on it and I charged it with solar. So I have not plugged that into the wall. I don't intend to plug it into the wall if I don't have to because I've got 800 watts of solar and I got 400 watts plugged into it right now. And again, it's cloudy outside. It's getting 45 watts. But it'll, as soon as the sun comes up, this will charge in about 30, 45 minutes. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty good on charging with solar. And it draws more solar from the solar panels than these other ones for some reason. It's just, it's just made better in my opinion. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about it? Oh, this one, you can buy the extra battery for it. And it has ports on the side here. And like I said, I'm going to put a link down below to Hobo Tech's video if you want to see all the technical stuff. And uh, you can, you can tr plug a battery into this and, and really up the capacity and do a lot of stuff with this thing. It's not 220, it's 110. It, it, has, uh, you know, it has a cigarette lighter. And I'm going to have to put my glasses on because I can't see. Let's see if I can read this stuff. These are all outputs over here, so don't confuse this with anything else. It's got a barrel uh, connector. It's got whatever you call that one. What do you call that? I forgot what you call that connector. XT60. A XT60 output. <clears throat> yeah. And then you got the two USB uh, outlets here. And then you've got two micro US, uh, uh, the Type C. USB outlets here, two of them. And let's see, these put out 100 watts. These up here put out 18 watts. So that's that's pretty good. Um, the outlets, let's see. So they're all the same. Some of these, all those are the same. But some units, they have them broke down to do different things. These are all the same. They're called VS. U20, and there's five of them. There's five outlets, just just regular 110 outlets. It says 100 volts to 120 volts, uh, rated at max at 1800 watts. So that's if you're using one of them, you'll get 1800 watts. If you're using more than one, you would divide that 1800 watts up. 
but 1800 watts is a lot so that works uh, this one does not have a flashlight on it that I've seen this one has a flashlight on the end here I don't know why it would have been if it had a bar across here with a light on it, it would have been nicer but uh, I can't show you because I'm using my phone to record but this does come with an app and it comes it has a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so when you connect this to the internet you can uh, I'll, I'll put a picture of it I think on my for my phone once I get done recording I'll take a screenshot and put it here somewhere that you can see the app but it works pretty good and uh, you can you can turn all these functions on and off away from home as long as you have uh, internet connection uh, so you would want your internet router plugged into this and as long as the uh, internet router has a signal coming to it from wherever their signal is coming from you would be able to control this and see what's going on with it wherever you're at in the world because the app works you know away oh the price the price you want to know the price of this thing don't you <laughs> this thing if you uh depending on where you buy it i bought it directly from the price this is 1100 e 1100 now a couple of years ago 1100 would have cost you about 1200 dollars but this one right here, brand new, not used, from the factory, was $379. That is, that beats everybody else, hands down. No way anybody can touch that. And for the function that this thing gives you, like the UPS part, where you can plug it in and plug all your other stuff into it and not worry about, like, your computers, you can plug your computers and monitors into this. And they work just regular enough. The power goes out. You don't even know the power went out. Your your computer just keeps on working, and it's just it's just a, a better product than anything that I've looked at and that I've purchased to date. Which I thought Jackery was going to be the best product, and maybe it is to some people that, well, especially the people that get them for free and get paid to promote them, they're the best on the market. But so far. Pecron is the best that I've seen and uh, I would ask you to check out Hope Otec's link down in the description if I remember to put it in there. I hope I do and that's all I got to say about this one right now if you have any questions post them down below and I'll try to answer them and I really appreciate you watching my video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and who knows what I'll be doing next golf bowling building something, tearing something down, falling off a ladder, who knows. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and I'll be talking to you later. This is Harold, signing off, baby. <laughs>